From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, time once again for another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV at the bar back at Tommy Max and brought to our friends at Truck crashlaw.com great to uh, have you here on board and great to bring you this show today let's meet the panel how you doing my friend good good what's your name again my name is josh josh great to have you on Thanks, board sir. man you're in the uh, floor and business I am. Told, Footprints floors yes sir Footprints floors how, how long have you been doing that for we we've been in market um right out of year right okay. out of year yes sir franchise have model have you been in the floor and business before um i've been in construction a little bit early on in my career okay uh, some commercial hvac Okay. Um, and general construction back a long time. Did ago. you uh, get into that like like out of high school? Yeah, out of high college, school. Florida? Out of high school. Right out of high school. Okay. Um, went into pipe fitting mechanic type work. No kidding. Um, and yeah. up in North Carolina, where yeah. things are a little bit different up there, but yeah. um, a lot of four pipe water systems, and so got into general construction. Sure. Did it for a good long while, and yeah. then moved to Florida. Those Always. trades are coming back, aren't yeah, they, man? They are. They are. I mean, there's a lot Probably. of need, right? A lot Probably. of need, a lot of jobs, and. A lot of good direction for kids to Absolutely. go if they want to go that route. Absolutely. Well, great to have you on board. Thank you, sir. All right, Derek, how you doing, man? Welcome good, back. Good, man. Thank you. How you doing? Managing right. property out there. Yes, sir. Single family home, a little apartments, or a little yeah, bit of both? Yeah, single family, townhomes, okay. condos, or main yeah. things. Yeah. How did you get started in that? Were you always interested in it, or how, how did it go for So, you? basically, I kind of use my real estate business, and I kind of feed into it. So, okay. a lot of my clientele that I get, you know, a lot of time they're buying investment properties. So, sure. I can take that in turn, tell them, okay, you know what, I can manage your property for you as well. Okay. And are you uh, uh, are you the investor as well? You bring in investor money. How do you how do you do that? So I want to start personally doing investing on my own as well, like sure. looking into like multifamily units because yep. that's like where the big bucks are Can outside be, yeah. of like just getting like single family homes. Yeah. But yeah, I work with investors as well too. Okay. So I worked with an apartment guy for a little bit, mm -hmm. and it was always in the C class apartments, which that's a different management. It's yep. not like you're. People are paying rent on time. You got to go chase the rent sometimes. You got to make sure that that's that's got to be a tough tough thing sometimes. Yeah, right? yeah. So I'm really trying to more so stay with like private owners. Like good. not really trying to get into that right now. Okay, good. But you're trying to expand the portfolio. Oh yeah, for sure. Always. All right. You always looking. Oh yeah. Yeah. You got to keep an eye on it. Right. Got a lot of driving man. around. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of waste of gas sometimes. There, there you go. Well, great to have you on. Thank no you. doubt about it. Tracy and Ben Glenn, how are you? Great. Good Thanks to see you guys. Having. Welcome to the Thank show. You. Uh, you're in the physician relocation business, is that correct? Yes, okay. absolutely. How'd you get into that? So and together as a husband wife team. Yes. Right. Good well, for you, so man. So you know what? That deserves it. <laughs> that That's why we're sure. drinking this drink. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. How'd you get started in it? So we have been in real estate for many years. I won't date myself by saying exactly okay. how many, but <laughs> okay. a long time. Um, like and investment properties, kind of what they're... No, residential real estate. Okay, residential. We actually owned a brokerage, brokerage like? okay. up in Wisconsin before we oh, moved here 10 okay. years ago. Cool. So, yeah. And that, for me, was a family business. I grew up in it. So I kind of got uh, sidetracked for a minute um, okay. after 07, 08 and went into physician recruitment. Okay. But I always missed real estate and really saw a need for a specialized service to gotcha. physicians. Mm -hmm. yep. So we're realtors, uh, that's our main business. Um, we're with Berkshire Hathaway, okay. but our niche is this physician relocation concierge. Oh, cool, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've had uh, we've had people on that were like for the military, yep. relocated, because they're always exactly. on the move. Absolutely. You know, you right. gotta make sure everything's right. set up. And it's more than just finding them a place to live, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yes. Right. It's that yep. concierge, it exactly. goes with everything. So we yeah. work with the recruiters often. So we'll talk with recruiters and oftentimes, you know, the big hospitals will have people on their teams that will handle it. But a yeah. lot of these medical groups now are private equity backed and they run very lean. Sure. The recruiters are busy. So they mm -hmm. hire someone, they hire a doctor, they give them a relocation bonus. That's kind of yeah. it. Right. And they're on their own. Right. So they right. don't have time to do the legwork to uh, interview agents who know Schools, how to work with doctors, doctors right, how to do community right, right, tours, yep, yep. household goods moving, organization, yep. staging. So we provide yep. all those resources. So you're the marketing in the face of the operation. And you're the operations, <laughs> I'm imagining. Clearly. Is I that, do what she tells me to do. And, you know, it works, works, it works well out great that way. That's great. That's great. So. And you guys been in the brokerage business for a while, right? Mm -hmm. We have, yeah, yeah we, we had uh, a brokerage for eight years in Wisconsin, then we okay. came here, and I've been doing it full-time 
finally pulled her out of the the recruitment space to do okay. it because uh, it, it is a great need. And you know, one yeah. of the things that we try and do is make it seamless for people that are coming because right. they've got everything else going on in their sure. life. Yeah. We we want to take that off their plate. I, I tell, I've never had to relocate on the fly, right? But mm -hmm. when you relocate on the fly, I mean, you you like where are the schools? Who am I bring my kids to the right. doctor to? Like, who, who, where am, right. where am, where am yeah. I shopping? Where am I living? You know, all that stuff. So that's yeah. a yep. big big part. All right, I got a question for the entire panel. Uh, it's about advice, and and I know I had a question going in, but I'm going to change the question a little bit. But what what if you could give someone advice, a young person advice, whether whether what you're doing in your line of work or not, mm -hmm. what would you give that young person? What kind of advice would you give? Them? That's pretty simple for me. Okay. Uh, be true. Be true to who you are. Um, be true to like to who you are and what what you're doing. Be integritous mm -hmm. and and have that integrity in everything you do. Yeah. That's kind of why I'm doing what we're doing. Um, yep. Especially in construction, yeah. Because there's there's a lot of need, especially in Florida, for integrity in construction. Right. Absolutely, yeah. and there's construction yeah. a whole from everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's and everywhere. bad, yeah, bad deals, yeah. and bad situations right. because of lack of integrity. Yeah. yeah, when you see a project like nobody's working anymore, mm -hmm. there's something went up, That's right? right. Yeah. Something went wrong, Absolutely. Right. right? Yeah, no doubt about it. A lot about of that it. around here. Derek, how about you? What advice would you give? Um, a few of the time when I went back to UNF to speak to the students, I always tell them, don't be afraid to pivot. Um, a lot of my, my undergrad and my grad degrees are all in public relations, communication, marketing. Okay. And here I am now in real estate and property management. Sure. So you can't be afraid to pivot. You can't think that, oh, I went to school for this. So if I go and I work in this field now, am I a failure or anything of that nature? Sometimes you just have to work with what's best for you. Mm -hmm. Right. So don't be afraid to pivot. Don't be afraid to start over. Right. I tell them that all the time. So that's definitely what my advice and would be. And pivoting, because I've done it plenty of times in my career. Mm -hmm. You've got to have great belief in yourself. Got to. Mm -hmm. Good Lord. And then, at least for me, good Lord. And then mm -hmm. myself. And that's not always easy. Because when I started in real estate, even my own parents, like they were a little weary about it and everything like that. Right. But if nobody else, I believed in myself. Right. And like right. you said, you got to have like that relationship, yep. whatever type of spiritual connection you have. Sure. And like I said, me personally yep. is the Lord. So yep. those two people believing in me. And now my parents are like, oh, yeah, you're Mr. Real Estate, man. But I'm like, you weren't saying that when I first started. <laughs> right. That's right. You had to prove it. Yeah, Nothing wrong exactly. with that. Nothing wrong with that. All right, Tracy, how about you? What would you I what would advice say would you just. Give? Take action, even if it's not perfect. I tend okay. to be a person who overthinks, but as I've, you know, started this business and just um, started to grow things, I've yep. really come to realize just taking action, even if it's not right right now. You can pivot, you can do mm -hmm. those things, but mm -hmm. yep. you've got to take action to make things happen. You can yep. talk about stuff and plan it all day long, but it doesn't make things yep. happen. How about you, Ben? What do you think? Uh, a little bit like that, but I would say just take a risk. Yeah. Um, when you're when you're young, you don't have the you know you don't have kids, you don't have a huge mortgage payment, you don't have all the other things going along with it. So yep. that's the time to you know do the things that people think are crazy. I mean, Derek, you're a perfect example. If your yeah. parents are like, eh, this isn't going to work," well, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's working really well right now. So yeah. that's the time to do it to to take it and, and go for it. And you're kind of too dumb to know what's what's right and what's wrong at that right. point too. Right. So too inexperienced, let's say. Right. Too yeah. inexperienced. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. In my case, it was dumb. Hers was dumb. Yeah. But, I think my advice would be just you got to look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you want something out of your life, good or bad, mm -hmm. look in the mirror and be honest with that reflection. It's called internal accountability. Yep. You're not pointing the finger at everybody else because everything, and don't get me wrong, third party interference happens. Right. Mm -hmm. right. But at the end of the day, you got to look in the mirror and be like, all right, can I be better? Can I be, how can I make it right. better? And then go do it. Absolutely. And then be honest, like you're saying, you got to be true to yourself, be honest, and, and keep working at it. Right. Great to have you guys on. Thanks yeah. so much for being here. Thank you. All right. All right. That'll do it this time around. If you like these kind of conversations, check out more at IWantabuzz.com. So until next time, stay safe. And be cool out there. We'll see you right here on the horse's mouth. Cheers.